Thank you very much, B. Uh, it's glad to be with you and to join the e-government event this morning. On behalf of His Excellency, the Governor of Aquaibom State, Mr. Udom Gabriel Emanuel, I have this, uh, the privilege to address the summit very briefly on how we are leveraging ICT or the E here to boost productivity, enhance performance, increase efficiency in the governance of our people in Aqua Basibum State. First is the healthcare industry, the health, health of Aqua Basibum people. They say a healthy man is a wealthy man, so health is wealth. And what comes particularly to mind was um, uh, during the COVID-19 or when it was at the peak, COVID-19 is still there. And I'm, I was privileged, I'm privileged to be the chairman of the COVID-19 management committee of Aquaibum State. How we leverage technology to boost performance and efficiency. Simple uh, access by all citizens from, we have about three, about 400 wards in Aquaibum State and who was having which symptoms and who was experiencing what. Was it temperature? Were you coughing continuously? Were you sneezing? Were you uh, feeling uncomfortable? Were you having nausea? Were you sweating profusely? All the possible symptoms. And if from each of the villages, simple phone camera, the camera from your smartphone, from your phone, and you send the video clip by WhatsApp, so both video and audio, to the uh, to our emergency operation center. And the medic, about 50 medical doctors, 50 experts were present and were able to react, respond, because all this boiled down to rapid response on the part of the doctors and the nurses and the pharmacists and all those in the healthcare industry to rapidly respond to assist the needy aquabomite. So our emergency operation center, when the World Health Organization on the NCDC, the US embassy visited, was the best uh, uh, in the country. Our isolation centers, our beds and all the sensors around the beds where the patients are, uh, the heartbeat, I mean the pulse rate, the blood temperature, the temperature of the patient, all these are monitored remotely. The patient, the, the beds in our hospitals are motorized and you could even zoom from the central emergency operation center to monitor the patient. And then we do telemedicine in our quadrant state between hospitals. Our major hospitals, uh, the general hospitals are all uh, linked via telemedicine. So you, and then each of the hospitals to, uh, from the consultation room to diagnosis, to laboratory tests, to prescription, to patient management, to patient care, to post uh, discharge uh, support for the, for the once upon a time patient. All these are automated. At the end of the day, the, the, is to make sure that the person concerned, the citizen, is healthy. So we deploy that. And, and you talk about government, it's about democracy. Government of the people, by the people, with the people. So the question is for, with, by, how do you leverage ICT? How do you leverage the E component to make sure that the by, the for, the with are all efficient and effective and you get the desired result. Two in education, our uh, schools, from the primary school to secondary to, so to the tertiary institutions to make sure that we automate learning and teaching processes in schools. And we have smart classrooms so that uh, the student and the teacher, if you're using distance learning or tele-education, they do not necessarily have to be co-located in the same classroom, like we used to say, or that we say in ICT, bombardment of the person with knowledge, irrespective of location. When you bombard the person with knowledge, irrespective of location, you increase the capacity of the person to perform and to be useful, first to himself as the, or herself as a person, and then, then to the society, in this case, to the state. So our schools, the learning processes, the teaching processes, and the distance learning, the teleeducation channels and platforms, even to acquire abroad. Our lecturers, our professors uh, teach from Houston, from uh, Princeton, they teach from MIT, they contribute. They would like 
to put at the disposal of Akwabumad's young ones back here in Akwabum State, what they know. At the end of the day, what are you doing? You are increasing capacity. You are teaching citizens. You are enabling them to be the best, to be globally competitive. When we say um, world class, what do we mean? It means that you have to be globally competitive in the ensuing e world. Let me put it that way. It is not about what it's not about who you know, it's about what you know, the capacity that you have. Is quality does not know gender. And Quality does not respect geography, does not even respect race. Once you are good, you have the capacity to deliver, the world will look for you. So in Aquabum State, we are working hard. His Excellency, the governor, under his very able and competent leadership, putting Aquabum State at the disposal of the rest of the world. And we will want the world to be at our disposal. But we say Aquabum State must be a double click away from the rest of mankind. And the rest of mankind must be a double click away from us. So we do that in education to increase capacity. That is, that is the future to make our citizens globally competitive. The third segment has to do with security, extremely important. That is the number one responsibility of government to make sure that our citizens are secure, they are safe, and there is social harmony and order, peace and security. In Aquabum State, all the wards, all the villages, we have in each village, the village town council, we have the village chairman of the council, the village head, the youth president, but extremely important. And to make sure that any pin, any act of insecurity or breach of the peace is reported. Simple smartphones, simple smartphones, video and audio clips, those are transported, transmitted to our security operation center. We call it Security Network Operation Center, SNOS. We're able to monitor, contact the DPO, contact the local police station, contact the area commander, and the right decisions are taken speedily. Because if you delay in taking decisions that affect security, the citizen is the loser. So the faster you respond, the better. And that speed can only be ensured when you leverage technology. Like we always say in our ICT industry, the world of today, you are as powerful as your capacity to assess knowledge, translate the acquired knowledge to boost your productivity wherever you are. Once you have that, I can tell you you're a special human being. And we used to call them those days in ICT, the digitizens of the world. So, and we use the same thing too in our hospitality industry. So technology, must not be seen as a cane or as high high end or is for the elite. No, is for the all and sundry. Increase capacity, boost productivity, enhance performance, enable citizens engagement. Let them know what's going on from our portal, our websites, and uh, even a simple box. SMS, for example, citizens are able to know what is going on. We have about 3,000 villages in Aquabu State, and we, people are analyzing citizens', citizens inputs, so government to citizens. So these are the schemes that e-government can do. Access to data. His Excellency, the governor of Aquabu State, is e-compliant governor. So memos, especially when COVID-19 was really at its peak, we were no longer submitting documents to the governor, hard paper. No, you needed to submit your document in label form. You use a stylus, you sign your document, and you submit to His Excellency the governor online within the state. Local government chairman, commissioners, special advisors, senior special assistants, everyone was learned and we were deploying technology so that you do not touch paper and risk infection during the peak of the COVID-19. So this is it. So it's not, technology is not to be looked for in Jupiter. It's right here. And even the organizers of the, of the event of today and members of the industry of ICT in Nigeria, they have a lot to do and a lot to contribute. So our vision is in the, in the next one two more, of two more years, this will be one of the smartest states in Nigeria and one of the smartest states in the world. To leverage technology to boost, to increase the citizen's capacity to be at his or her best. And when he or she is at his or her best, 
then the consequence is positively enormous for the good of a society. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for the privilege to share with you the, the content, part of the content of His Excellency, the Governor of Kwabun says vision and what he's doing today to boost productivity in service delivery in Akwabun State leveraging technology. Thank you and God bless.